Hi guys, I'm going to do some kite flying, come down to Porter's Head. This is the Poundland Twin Pack that I was looking at the other day in my conservatory when it was raining. I'm very annoyed with myself because I also had one of Grandad's post bag items, an anemometer, wind speed measurer, and I forgot to bring it. So I can't tell you what the wind's like today. So that'll have to wait for the next uh, outing. Anyway, we'll try these. They're cheap and nasty. And we'll see if they fly. All right, this is the first one. I'll let it out a bit more. And then I'll take the camera off the tripod and try and follow it a bit. All right, so this is straight out of the bag. No modifications. And this one appears to be flying. Actually, it was shaking around a little bit just now, so the wind must be... Oh, there we go. I guess it just depends how strong the wind is. In fact, I think the wind's just dropped. <laughs> Can't focus. Yeah, it looks like as soon as the wind gets up a bit, it's deforming. in focus, that's because I'm trying to fly with one hand and watch with the other. Watch. Film with the other. I'm really annoyed about the anemometer, anomometer. Anometer? I can't remember how it's pronounced. Maybe next time I'll remember it. So, that's one of the Poundland kites. We've got just about the right amount of wind for it. Maybe a little bit more might be better, but it seems okay. I'll try the other one out of the twin pack. I just remembered I said I did it straight out of the pack with no modification. That isn't strictly true. The um, bridle here, I put this curtain ring over it. It's not tied in position, but when I put the flying line over this, I loop it over there and that actually holds the ring in position at whatever position I've adjusted it to for the flying angle. So the ring is just free running but when the flying line goes over it let's see if we can demonstrate so this is a loop on the end of the flying line. So I push that through. And over. And it actually pulls tight on the bridle and holds the bridle in position. So that works quite well for me, makes it very easy to adjust the angle on the bridle.